Uh, pretty much what's going on in Malibu is um, they're trying to do a big bulldozing dig and uh, a bunch of scientists came in and they think that they want to change the lagoon, they think it's unhealthy and it's dying. But what they really are trying to cover up is in 82, they botched the whole lagoon dig and took out too much water and, and created the flow going down the point where it should start at third point, but now it goes at first. Um, and so now everyone's trying to fight it. Uh, Surfrider Beach has just became a natural surfing preserve, the world's first natural surfing preserve, and they're doing nothing to protect the surfers. They're just looking after their own pockets. Heal the Bay is going to get about $20 million through their organization to restore the lagoon, which doesn't need restoring. Andy Lyon, actually it happened, Andy Lyon this year got caught around sunset trying to dig the lagoon out and the river was on one side and the, the park officials were on the other and he was just like, fuck you, come get me. And he was just digging it and digging it and digging it until it just eventually came out and they caught him. He's been causing a huge stink right now in Malibu. Uh, he went to the city council meeting recently and uh, you're supposed to schedule your turn to speak and he was just going off and cussing at all the, all the uh, board members and everybody's funded by this project. Everyone's just got deep pockets right now. It's all, it's all the new people that moved to Malibu with a ton of money that they, it's really bored housewives that have nothing to do. And Point Doom just became illegal to fish, period. Because of them, they want to protect the waters. And it's, they're, they, they're not fighting the right people, they're fighting the locals. When they should be fighting the commercial fishermen and all that, but they're just completely going up, going upstream right now, and it's just, it's just pointless. The thing is, it's it's like a little secret though. There's only eight guys out at the top on shortboards. There's 300 at the bottom, so it looks crowded. But you go out there and you sit up, up at the top with the boys, and you get every wave all the way through. <laughs> if you're one of the boys. <laughs> I think giving twenty five thousand dollars away for best video section is 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 the future of the sport and the progression of the sport and that's what needs to happen. They need, they need to pay back the surfers for their for their hard work, especially now in this uh, economic climate where, where guys that are some of the best in the country don't have a sponsor and this is the, the best way for them to make some money besides digging ditches. Well the, the internet is definitely the future. It, it gives it gives young, up-and-coming filmmakers that don't have the big budgets, that gives them the opportunity to put their, their, their creative, their craft, or their films into the limelight without needing big backers. I think it's the, it's the greatest thing ever. Go to SponsorMe.com.